beautiful people. Thank you for joining. So I did a bit of a read here really quick and I felt like I should share it. So I'm not sure what this is for, but you could be experiencing an awakening and may not be entirely aware of it. You could be in a space where you feel like there's some type of imbalance or stagnation and you can't quite put your finger on it or you may feel like there's some type of invisible barrier that you can't seem to break. Uh, or that maybe on the flip side, a lot is happening. There's so much happening at once that you can't seem to get your footing or you know, there's not enough time in the day. And it all points to balance. You just may be in a period of feeling just dis disoriented, out of sorts. And that's your inner and outer being adjusting to this new timeline, this new shift that you've entered which is this awakening. So you may be feeling a sense of imbalance. What you should know is that once you finally adapt and gain your footing in this new timeline, there is a pretty significant reward or abundance that awaits for you. This card says harvest, this says joy. And this could be a result of all your hard work, all of I don't know, this some type of reward for trials and tribulation period that you experienced. It's like finally being shown to the promised land. It's the best I, I can explain it, but it's gonna follow your, adjusted, your adjustment after your awakening, awakening period, if that makes sense. Now, in order to get to this harvest point, this card here, Surrender and Beginnings, tells me that there's just a tiny aspect. It's a large aspect, but it's tiny in the grand scheme of things that you may have to surrender to, relinquish in order to kick off this new beginning, which will be a significant change. You're going to be granted a period of newness. And this could be a new career, this could be a new business, a new family, if, uh, you know, one would be, one one is working towards that. The good lady speaks of joy uh, moving forward in relationships and this placement. So this could be a new beginning in a relationship, which is going to lead to joy, happiness, abundance, uh, just a lot of manifestations taking place here now with the stork fish and bear this just confirms everything here it's going to be a significant change in finances and through these finances you're going to develop the significant strength this responsibility you may even have the ability to be generous and help others to grow and to ascend to your level uh, of awakening so this is pretty beautiful um, let's see what energy we have here. Wildflower. Wildflower. Oh, excuse me. Wildflower. So you could be someone who is a free spirit. You could love nature. You could feel peace at nature. Uh, I'm sorry, peace within a nature setting, such as by the water, in the forest. Uh, this could be a park anywhere, or you're, you're one with the animals and so forth. Um, you may be very intuitive, so you get certain levels of guidance that has helped you along up until this point. So that's pretty beautiful. 